You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and these are markers. Today we're talking about the Pilot Bravo marker real quick, and that's because I really like these markers. These are my favorite marker pens by... A fair margin, really. And it all started with this red one. These are the only colors that are available according to Pilot's website. And they're the only ones I've ever seen, so I believe it. These are blue, black, and red. I want to say I've had this red one for a while. Maybe long enough for the barrel to discolor a little bit. Uh, because this is from when I was grading a lot of quizzes and that sort of thing. And I wanted a big marker that would make a big statement. So, looking at the pen, you have a uh, plastic, plastic clip, which... I mean, I haven't broken any off, but I'm not like a, a clip twister or anything. I don't do any of that horrible stuff to my clips. They seem fine. It's got this ball at the end. I think it's cool. You have these nice uh, finials, top and bottom. Barrel color matches the ink color. Bravo, Pilot, that's it. Also a nice ink window. Looks like I'm about half full on this one right now. About half, which is cool. Opening it up, you see there is an inner cap sleeve there. Very nice. Interesting to have that on something as simple as a marker. And these go for uh, two bucks, maybe a little, uh, maybe three, depending on where you're grabbing them. Uh, but you can see here, the whole feed and everything is exposed, a la the uh, V5 and some of their other pens. Don't worry about this, uh, what looks like seepage. That is totally normal and fine. It doesn't hurt anything. This happens with all of these pens. It doesn't hurt anything. And it doesn't mean it's going to come out the front or anything. Uh, this is a pretty good length. You can totally post them easily enough. Very light cap. No metal on this pen. Except for this little bit right here. Now you can also see this marker tip. Uh, these marker tips are not flexible. They're, uh, they're pretty stiff. Uh, they might be made of plastic. They could be made of fibers. I don't actually know. They're kind of like these porous point direct ink tips that you see on some other pens like... Uh like these, they seem a bit like this one, like this uh, this Pilot V Razor, uh, which has many of the same many of the same characteristics. Much smaller tip. So uh, these are good at making big, broad marks. It's listed on at one place at being a uh, a 1.0 millimeter. I think that's probably bigger. Uh, maybe it's one millimeter if you're just writing sort of vertically on that tip but I don't do that, I make big marks. So, you can also leave these uncapped with no problem at all, they're not gonna dry out on you. I'll show you how these work out. And these are a marker pen, so they're meant to make big marks. So, Pilot, bravo. You can see it really does, and it's got a bit of a brushy characteristic to it. And, I think these are the best pen you can get for this kind of writing, uh, which is big titles, headers, uh, things that you want to make a bold statement about. These are not little tiny, uh, you know, writing a bunch of uh, pages and pages of densely cribbed notes. Uh, these are these are heading pens or marker pens or making a big note sort of pen. Now, I would love it if uh, Pilot made smaller versions of these, although like smaller tip size versions. Oh, that might just be the Pilot V Razor. So this is the V Razor as a comparison. It is much finer. Somewhere in between those I think would be good too. Although I really like these V Razors. Maybe we'll do one, a video on these in the future. That says EF, I believe it. This would say BB, at least one B, maybe two. Let's see if I can make this a little finer. Like, you can, but that's unsatisfying. You want to go big with a Pilot Bravo. Uh, and so what I usually use these for is I'll use them for post-it notes and things. Maybe don't use the red on red. Why do I keep capping it? That's just force of habit. You don't have to. But the, uh, these all turn out black. None of them are bleeding through or anything like that, which is nice. And it's just regular old recycled uh, post-it super sticky action. Then this is the... Post-it note, extreme notes, which as you well know, if you are a uh, an often a frequent watcher of this channel, I've had one out on my front porch for like two or three years at this point, and uh, it's still doing just fine. These things are extreme. Uh, Pilot Bravo does real well on these. Now, it will take a minute to dry just because these extreme post-its are <laughs> seem like they're mostly plastic or whatever, but you make big marks on this. It is real easy to read. 
And your other options for these marker pens are not great. Um, you've got uh, the Papermate Flare, which is a nice marker pen, but it is just not in the same league as far as size and color and such as the um, uh, as the Bravo. So this is the Flare, and it looks okay. Here's an orange Flare, which is way better. The red Flare is actually like kind of pink. I don't like it. I like these. I like these bright colors that Bravo's got going on. But they're also just very small. Like, honestly, I don't have a huge use for marker pens of this size. I will use these sometimes for working in my journal and that sort of thing, where I don't necessarily use these because they're too big. Uh, but if you're going to be marking big stuff, like your other option is basically like Sharpies. And these, like this one, this king size, xylene free, I don't know. It smells like I'm getting high as soon as I open this thing, and it will bleed through all kinds of stuff. I will brave it for this. Now, if I'm writing on boxes, I mean, I'm using this. <laughs> but if I'm making, you know, other kinds of notes, I might use a Sharpie. But these, like, you got to be careful what you're writing on because they are going to just bleed right through whatever you're using. It's just kind of the way that they work. Oh, well, they are nice and permanent. So, you know, if your choice is between... Bravos, which you can use on notes and uh, uh, post-its and all kinds of things, or the Sharpie. I usually go for the Bravo because it gives me the right size, it feels nice, and, uh, you know, I just wish it had more colors and maybe more tipping sizes. But check out these Pilot Bravos if you need to make a statement because they're real good. I'm a big fan. It's just... It's just so smooth and nice. All right, that's it. Uh, find these at your favorite stores. I've seen them at Targets and stuff. You can find them at all the online retailers that do small goods like this. And, uh, you know, if you go to one of those online retailers, uh, tell them tell them Mike at Ink Dependence sent you. I mean, it won't get you anything, but it's always nice to let people know where you came from. Tell people, you know, who, who you like on the interwebs. And, uh, you know, that's it. All right, peace out. See y'all later.